In today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn a Lightroom preset into a profile. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today is a follow-up to my last video where I talked about profiles and presets and uh, it's a whole explanation as to what profiles are and why I think that they're better and more powerful than presets. But um, if you are like pretty much everyone else, we all started really using presets. We didn't know about profiles. So uh, if you're like me, then you would have ended up with a whole collection of presets, both purchased or just stuff that you, um, that you download off the web for free uh, and plus the ones that you created yourself. So today I'm going to show you how you can convert those uh, presets into a profile. Now you might be asking, why would I want to do that? It's, if it's gonna do the same thing, if I'm just doing a conversion, then I can just apply it as a preset. The thing is that if you, um, if you looked at the last video and I'll link it somewhere in here, I explain in there how the application of the profile uh, is better than the application of the preset. So when you click on a preset in Lightroom, it's pretty much applied and, uh, and that's it. And all the sliders in Lightroom all get changed to whatever that preset has uh, set them to. But when you apply a profile, first of all, you've got an intensity slider. And this is really good because sometimes you just want a little bit of that effect. Uh, so you can wind it back a little bit, or you can actually go over the top and go beyond 100% to 200%. Um, so that's something that's not available uh, with presets. And the other thing is that when you apply a profile, uh, the sliders in Lightroom are all reset to zero. So you can further tweak that preset um, if, you know, beyond what it already is. Um, and think about it this way, you can apply a profile and then apply a preset over the top of it. So you can actually double up on effects. So again, just a much more uh, powerful way to work and to apply all these special effects and special styling to your images. So this is why I like Profiles. It doesn't mean that you have to pick between one or, one or the other. Just know what one can do uh, compared to the other and just pick the one that is right for you. So let's jump onto the computer and I'll show you how this works. Okay, so here we are inside of Lightroom. Uh, and in fact, I've got a few different things open. Let me just show you what I've got. Uh, I've got the classic version of Lightroom here. I've also got the Creative Cloud version in here. And the reason I've got both versions open is because they both handle profiles uh, very differently, the way they manage them. And so I'll show you how to do it on both, both versions. Uh, I've also got Photoshop in the background there, and that's what we're gonna use to do the conversion. Now, I, the way that I do it, I, I always start to, um, I start off with a photo or an image inside of Lightroom Classic. Uh, it doesn't matter what photograph you use. The, the one thing that is important is that you do not apply a preset to this photograph before you start this process. So just to make sure, I always hit the reset button here and any changes I made to the, the photograph um, will be uh, reset to zero. Nothing about this photograph is gonna make it as part of the profile, okay? This is just so that uh, it doesn't get it doesn't get confused when you're applying different different settings. So just know that the photograph itself has nothing to do with what we're doing. We need a photograph to apply it to but that photograph needs to be uh, from a starting point, so completely reset. That's all, and, uh, and I'll show you what can happen if you don't do this. So from here, we're in the develop module, we're going to right mouse click on the screen, and we're going to go to edit, and we're going to go to Photoshop 2022. So that is going to open up now in Photoshop. Okay, and uh, so I've got that here. And from here, what we're going to do, we're going to go to the filter menu, Inside of Photoshop, we're going to come down to where it says Camera Raw Filter. I'm going to select that. Now, this is going to bring uh, Camera Raw. And uh, this should be familiar to you, but if it isn't, essentially what you've got here is the uh, develop module from inside of Lightroom that is just available to you through Photoshop. And you've got some tools, the little icons here on the right-hand side. And uh, again, this should look pretty similar and pretty familiar to you. What we want to do is we're going to, we want to go down to this last one here, which is the one with the two uh, sort of crossing over circles, okay? And when you click on that, that's going to bring up your presets um, that are available to you. Now, these presets uh, should match up with what you see in Lightroom Classic, okay? Let me, let me just close 
uh, all these folders. Let me go back to classic Lightroom here so that if I bring up the two that way, you can see that all the menus, all the folders in here match up to the folders in here. Okay, so I've got user profiles, oh, sorry, user presets, dance presets, effects, retro. You go down this side, user presets, dance presets, effects, retro. Okay, you've got auto retro, semi uh, style, black and white, and so forth. So that list should be exactly the same. Now, if it's not, there is something that you may want to check. Um, if it doesn't look the same, okay, then if you right mouse click on this panel here, you may see a, mine says hide partially compatible presets, but yours might say show partially compatible uh, presets. Let me just show you what happens when I hide them. Um, you will notice that it's taken, I've got a retro folder here on the left hand side inside of Lightroom that does not show up in here. Okay, so it's got dance presets, effects, retro, and here it's got dance presets and effects. So in order to bring that back, I just right mouse click in here anywhere in there and just go to show partially compatible presets. Um, I don't know why it does this. Uh, maybe there is uh, some technical reason why it cannot apply the preset, but I have not uh, come across any uh, except that sometimes when I apply a preset ahead of time inside of Lightroom Classic, this becomes a bit of a problem. And that's why I said to you uh, when we started in Lightroom to just reset all the settings of the image. Anyway, Let's um let's pick one and um what have I got? Let's um let's see what we've got. Uh let, let's just pick one uh that we're gonna do. Let's do this orange and teal. Okay. Uh let's select this one. This is the one we want to convert. Okay, so we're gonna click on that one. And then it's applied it to the image. Okay, now this is the uh the, the, the trickiest part of the whole thing. You need to hold down the option key on a Mac or Alt on a PC, and then click on this, there's little three dots in here, which is more image settings, okay? And do not let go of the keyboard key just yet. Click on that and still while holding that Alt or Option key, select Create Profile, okay? You can let go of the key now. Now, what it's asking you here now is just, what are you gonna call this profile? I, I you know, I stick to the same naming convention that I've got for the preset. So this was called, I think it was called orange and teal. So I'm just going to call it orange and teal. And then under groups, uh, just like you've got groups in your presets, you've also got groups inside of your profiles. So these are the groups that are available to me. Uh, if I wanted to, I could create a new group. All right. Um, I'm not going, you know what? In fact, let's do that. Let's create a new group and I'll show you what that looks like. So let's call it um, for orange and teal. We're just going to call it uh, ORT for orange to teal, ORTL, here we go. So we go, okay. And that's just gonna create a folder called ORTL, and then the name is gonna be orange and teal. Uh, I don't need to do anything else. I can just click okay in here, and then click okay here. And that is done. So let's go back to uh, Lightroom and see if our profile is there. Again, I've got this photograph here. I'm in the develop module, and to get to the profiles, uh, again, it's at the very top, okay? So you just scroll to the top of the develop module and you're gonna see it on the profile here. You've got this little four rectangular, uh, rectangular boxes. We're gonna click on that and we're gonna look for our folder, ORTL, and it's not there. Now, the reason it's not there is because when you update profiles, you need to restart Lightroom, okay? So we're going to quit Lightroom. Okay, let's go quit Lightroom. We're not going to do a backup. Okay, and I've restarted Lightroom. So all I did is just quit and then launched it up again. All right, and uh, we've still got the same photograph in here. We're back in the develop module. And now we're going to click on those little four square boxes again to bring up the profiles. And when we do, what we should find is that we have this folder here, ORTL. And when you open that up, you see that we've got our orange and teal profile. If I click on that, it applies it to the photograph. And again, we've got our intensity slider. 
this is how much of that profile you want to apply to your photograph, okay? So the great thing about this is, actually there's a few things that are really cool about this. First of all, you can just apply just a little bit of it, okay? Uh, every photograph is different. So, um, you know, they're, they're going to respond to profiles and presets differently. And this gives you the ability to be able to dial in how much of that uh, effect you want to apply to the photograph. But check this out. You notice here that it's got 92. So let's go to 100, okay? This, when you go to 100, what this does is this is what it would look like if you just had applied the preset the old-fashioned way, okay? And if you wanted to crank this effect up higher, you would have to go to, you know, all the sliders in here and start fiddling with every single one that had been tweaked in order to create this profile. The great thing about this is that you don't have to do this. 100, it says in there, but it's only halfway down the, you know, down the slider here. I can keep going all the way to 200, and I can make this profile even more intense, twice as intense as the original preset, right? So the original preset was 100, okay? And we can go to 200. So this is one of the reasons I really, really like um, using profiles instead of presets. Now, let me show you how to do this inside of the, the not classic, the uh, Creative Cloud version of Lightroom. Sorry, the names are super confusing. Um, so this is the... Creative Cloud CC, Lightroom CC, okay? And if you go into profiles in here, let me just, you know, these are the profiles. You, you get to profiles, by the way, by clicking on the little sliders icon. Once you click on an image, you click on this little icon over here, and then you're going to see that the profile is just like in Lightroom at the very top. So when we click on that one, it's going to bring up all of the profiles, and you're going to notice that uh, our folder is not there, and neither is a profile. So... In order to bring it into this version of Lightroom, you just have to import the file, okay? And you do that by clicking on these little three dots up on the top here, and you've got import profiles, okay? And this is just going to open up a dialog box, okay? Where is your uh, your file? There's a, there's a file that contains all of this information, okay? So that's where it's asking you. So you just navigate to that file, and you click import. Now, if you don't know where the file is, let me show you a really quick and easy way to find it. Let me jump back onto the uh, classic version of Lightroom. Let's go to the profiles, okay? And we're looking for this specific one here that uh, that we just imported or we just installed. It's just over here. I'm just going to right mouse click on it. I'm going to go show in Finder. Okay, I'm on a Mac. If you're on a PC, it's going to, I think, say show in Explorer or something along those lines. But when you do that, it's going to jump directly to the file. See how it's gone directly to orangeandteal.xmp. This is the file that you need to import in here. Now, on a PC, you would have to navigate to wherever this, this file is. It would give you a path either down the bottom or on the top. Uh, with a Mac, it's really easy. You just drag and drop the file from one box to the other one, and it will automatically navigate to, um, to that folder and highlight the file. This works on every application, by the way. It's not a Lightroom thing. This is just a Mac thing. So it's already selected it for you. We're going to go import, and you'll notice that ORTL, the folder is in there. When I click in there, the orange and teal profile is there. I click on it, and just like in the classic version of Lightroom, I can go more, I can go less. I have total control. So that is how you convert a preset into a profile. I hoped it was useful and uh, that you learned something. If you have any questions, though, make sure you leave them in the comments section below. Uh, that way I can uh, answer any questions you have or just ping me on any of the, uh, you know, the, the social medias. Uh, all the links are in the description, so you should find them in there. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to click the like button. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, consider doing so. I make videos like this every week to help you with your photography. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those, click the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below. That's probably the best place uh, to get in touch with me. Uh, but of course you can ping me on any of the usual social media platforms and you're gonna find all the links in the description below. Again, please don't forget to click that like button. I wanna thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cause I find my way.